All right, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for a short look at some brand new Star Wars Hunters gameplay that have released over the last few days. With the Star Wars Hunter cinematic trailer releasing just a few days ago, I definitely wasn't expecting to see any sort of gameplay anytime soon. But much to my surprise though, at a recent Apple press conference showing off their new products, Star Wars Hunters received a nice little feature when Apple was discussing their upgraded iPad mini and iPhone. Now, while there wasn't a lot to show, it definitely answered at least a few of the questions most Star Wars fans that have seen this game have had. The main question everyone had was, is this going to be a turn-based game? Well, due to the game's nature and only being available on Switch and mobile, a lot of us, myself included, thought there was a chance this game was going to end up turn-based like Galaxy of Heroes was, which if you didn't know, was a previous mobile Star Wars title. I'm really happy to see that the gameplay is actually in real time, and from what I can see in the gameplay, it looks extremely smooth for something that's operating on a tablet or smartphone. So what does the gameplay actually show us? The gameplay shows us the Sith character Reeve using a lightsaber throw ability, which can be seen to have a cooldown timer on the bottom right corner, very similar to Battlefront 2. There's also a second ability icon, which we see used immediately afterwards, where she flips and strikes her opponent with a heavy lightsaber attack. Now, as we spoke about in my last video, the website has stated that there is room for customization with each character. So I am hoping the abilities is where you can swap them out for others that are making your own unique play style. We also see Reeve's health bar at the bottom of the screen screen and our objective tracker at the top, but one thing worth pointing out is that beside her health bar, there is a percentage charging around an icon, which looks to be an ultimate ability. If each character has their own ultimate Star Wars Hunters gameplay, it will be much deeper than just a mad free-for-all. There's definitely going to be an element to skill, tactic, and teamwork to go into this game to making you a successful player. I think with ultimate abilities, timing them right, and just knowing when to use them is going to become a big part of Star Wars Hunters, and knowing how to use each characters ultimate effectively or potentially which multiple characters you can use with your teammates in time at the same time or one after the other to be most effective in each round. Now in the second clip we see J3DI, a droid Jedi who begins with a jumping slash ability and a lot more ability icons than what we saw in the previous clip with Reeve. So I'm guessing this means that as you level up you can place more abilities onto your character. Also if we look at the icon that just finishes charging during the clip, it seems like an icon for a force push which is one of those ones on the right hand side there, hinting at another potential ability for this character. With such limited gameplay though it is hard to see how hunters will play but the main thing for me is that the combat will be in real time and judging from that J3DI clip there should be a vast array of abilities for every character in this game and we know of 10 possible characters so far those of which I will go over for all of you in a future video so if you're not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe if you're interested in Star Wars Hunters and if you want to be notified as soon as I upload make sure you've got the notification bell set to all and not personalized there's a lot of you guys that make that mistake you do actually have to switch it to all to get notified when I do post but with that said, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm pretty excited for Star Wars Hunter. It's growing the closer we get to the game. Obviously, it's not releasing until the start of next year, but I really hope we get a little bit more information in the future coming very soon. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. I will see you in the next one and may the force be with you always. The Sith 